So this is actually my very first Eduardo Tellerante library. This is, it's, it's, it's really amazing. Um, it's really amazing. So this is a 25 gig library. It covers 36 Celtic wind string percussion instruments. What I've discovered, or just playing through some of these already, is that the quality of the sounds are just, just spot on, and you're gonna be able to hear that as well. Uh, this uses the best service engine, and it's a, a little different than what I was used to with some other players. It's a little different workflow to get around. I think we're going to be fine uh, with it. So I'm gonna just pull this up here. There we go, this is the engine. And so Celtic 2, uh, Celtic Era 2 is actually new material and then they've updated it. If you have Celtic Era 1, you can upgrade for, I think, $99 to this, uh, this version here. Now, one reason why I have to sort of switch back and forth is because uh, the engine opens up the browser in a new window. And uh, hopefully, yeah, ho hopefully that, the, that best service is working towards, you know, maybe updating the engine because I think they've got some great libraries. So we put on the browser and we've got ancient keyed percussion, soundscapes, strings, and winds. Let's just start with the ancient. And I know I might have some issues pronouncing some of these, but we'll, we'll do our best. So this is the, um, the Carnix. This is one thing that I really loved is you hit that info and this brings up like a history of the instrument. And, and if you see this picture of this, it is this S-shaped tall uh, horn with a boar's head. And it's like, it says it was used to, uh, in warfare, probably, probably to incite troops to battle and intimidate the opponents. Cause you see these trumpets with these boar's heads. <laughs> that would just really uh, be amazing. So here we go. This is the Carnix. It's just got an unusual. switches. Each key switch has a different, uh, different articulation. Oh, wow. French, French Celt. Well, thank you, man. That's so nice. To, yeah, I'm, that's the thing with these world libraries is that they take you on, take you to places you've never been before. Uh, it's uh, very, very wonderful to, to learn and discover these new countries and new worlds. Each of these are gonna trigger something different. And it's just exploring all of these different articulations. They give you so much here. Uh, the cornu, and let's go check that out. Now this is a, a more unusual shape horn, uh, ancient Roman brass instrument uh, shaped in the letter of G, uh, you know, and they braced it up, you know, here we go. Let's check it out. I am Spartacus, yeah. <laughs> yes, September walk, yes, there are legatos, and let's take a quick listen to those. We have re the regular legato.
and then slurred legato. And vibrato, CC1 controls vibrato. And velocity helps with the dynamic range. So dynamics are controlled by velocity. No after touch here. Let's go to, uh, yeah, no after touch. And then dynamics seem to be controlled by velocity. Yeah, so let's see. Staccatos. Marcato. It's cool. And medium Mercado and crescendos. Long crescendo. And then you've got the sustains. So that's the cornu. This is the Dord. Wow. A bronze horn native to Ireland and dating as far back as 1000 BC. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to, you know, you've got an instrument under your fingers that's like thousands of years old. Let's see, get into... Um... And it's, the tonality is just really interesting. Okay, and legato... controls the volume. Okay, so you have um, mod wheel volume and then velocity volume. So, so the velocity will kind of uh, control the uh, dynamic range. And no legato. I don't think we've got legato. Yeah, we don't have legato on this. Let's see, let's go on to these ancient uh, war horns. Okay, so these are, um, like all the blue keys are different articulations, different. Every blue key is a different. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Okay, I will do that, BF. Let's just let's just take that. Um, let's take that. Yeah, the reverb is pretty much cranked on this. So let me just do one of the low low things. Let's see. Let's try this. I've got to find my key switches. And he recorded these very close. Yeah. That's wild. Let's go to another one of the war horns. We've got a big horn and a black horn. Now let's... Yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, so Zangel, it it would be in mono because that's how they recorded these. They recorded these very close, and I think they are recorded in mono. And then you add the stereo in, and you you add the reverb in, and that puts it that puts it in more of a spacious. Yeah, just amazing. Amazing things here. So you've got all of these different calls. Let's go to the concertina. And these are the key. Yeah, it's a boat. <laughs> so this is the concertina. Let's turn the reverb off just for a second. It's got a very beautiful sound. Let's just throw a little bit of reverb on just uh, for grins. It's just got a beautiful quality to it. Let's see, let's go to the other concertina. We've got two different ones. This has got a different tone. It's just very intimate, just a very intimate sound. Like I think BF mentioned something, it's just like these, these instruments, they challenge you to, to think differently to, you know, I'm a keyboard player, but then to think about how to play a war horn or how to play a, a concertina or even uh, guitars and that type of thing, and learning about the history of, of the, where all of these instruments are, originate from, uh, are just, it's just amazing. It's, it, that's what takes you on these, what I call joyful journeys and ex explorations. It's just incredible. Let's go to the percussion. We have a lot of different things here in percussion. Uh, we've got the bass baldron, uh, bass drum, and then uh, this, the regular. Badrin and snares and toms. So let me just load up the um, bass Badrin. And you can see the key switches are giving you all sorts of different articulations. I'll turn the reverb off so we can kind of he just recorded these very dry and very close. So you can play them free like this. He's got different, uh, different sounds mapped. And then we've got the keys down here that actually play patterns. Bow run, bow run, thank you. I have so much trouble sometimes. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys. Boron, Boron, Boron. So you've got different grooves here. Very cool. So you've got the loops here, and then you've just got the, the single shots for the different rolls. Now let's throw some reverb on it. Thank you. 
Yeah, that makes a difference. That's kind of like a triplet feel there. Very cool. So let's go to um, the snares. We've got some, um, we've got lots of, of different uh, snare rolls, open rolls. Yeah, so, so yeah, the thing with the loops is that, that you can layer these together and just kind of build. They're just like these really huge building blocks that you can uh, just build upon. So let's do the open rolls, six, eight, little six, eight rolls here. And the, these, the Scottish snares are just tight. They're real bright and tight. And again, you've got these where you can kind of play them to yourself. Different articulate different articulations here, and then you can trigger the different patterns. So that's really cool. And then you've got the closed rolls. And yeah, just the very tight characteristic of these uh, Scottish snares. Yeah, very nice. Let's go to the soundscapes, and this is really cool. Uh, he's given us so many of these really nice music bed soundscapes. And this was, this was kind of surprising in a way. And if you look down here, we have four different pad sources. And you can blend these together. This is beautiful. And then you know, you know me. I can get, I can get lost in something like that. So let's uh, check on a couple more of these. So let's go. Wow, look at all of these. Let's go to a Celtic strings one. Ooh, man.
Got all kinds of different things going on here. Of separate, so you've got the you've got the logo. Wow, let's go to um, let's go to another one of these beautiful beautiful soundscapes. So this is Highland Echoes. This is gorgeous. These, I mean, this is the first time I'm hearing some of these. Listen to what's going on under here. Listen to that. There's like delays and different things going on. Yeah, so he's got some kind of a delay uh, going on here. You hear that now that it's almost like a looper type of thing and it's just kind of playing back what I just played. And then we can just layer these. It's just, it's just kind of going and going. Ooh. One day, there's another new, new, new. Ah, the fairy whispers. The fairy. <laughs> we got a piano in here too. Wind chimes layering with this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just. I love discovering new things, and this is just gorgeous. <laughs> and let's just. Uh, Let's just turn the piano. And it's got that. The wind chimes. And then I think, uh, you know what? I think, it, you know, we can put this in Unify, but not today. <laughs> Gorgeous. That's just some gorgeous, beautiful things happening here. Let's just go to one more. Um, the journey begins. Oh, wow. And then we can, I guess these are pan controls that we can. Yeah, they're panning controls. We can kind of spread these around. I'm just uh, very impressed. Very impressed. Through the mist, one more. Through the mist. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 
doing too many, you know, so let's back it down. Sometimes you need to just take one hand and just put it behind your back sometimes. Just amazing things. Beautiful. So uh, it's, it is less absolutely, I agree 100%. Let's go to acoustic guitar. And this, this, was, a, this was a lot of fun with this. Um, What gets me is that when the <clears throat> when the developer puts puts some of himself in here, you it it sort of plays you. It sort of finds a way to to, to come through your fingers. The 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 emotion and the playability of it. It depends on the way the the library is programmed. If it if it does certain things, it causes me to play in certain ways, and then it just then it's over. It's just you know. So let's check out the other acoustic guitar. You've got two acoustic guitars. Uh, you've got finger and fingered and plucked. So this is the plucked version. Wow. So that's the sustains. And make sure you use the links in the description. Uh, Best Service has really been supportive of the channel and that just kind of helps, uh, helps us keep going. So you've got uh, slides up. And then you've got legato here. And slide down, it sees. And harmonics. And then chords, strummed harmonic chords. And then you've got your fret noises up here. Little 
little muted things going on here. And then what they've given us is uh, we've got the ability to have these strummed. And so each one of these, I'll go back to the fingered. And, no, go to the strummed. So we've got sixteenths, um, three-fourths, different things. And uh, let's go to the jigs, the six-eight jigs. And, and just take a listen. <laughs> Let's see what the okay so the um so the green keys the green keys selects your key the blue keys select let's see the blue keys blue keys okay so like major okay open major minor and seventh yes so each of these uh, each of these key switches controls the open chords okay and then you control the Yeah, so that uh, so these control the the key. So you just have to get used to the workflow, but that gives you a lot of uh, interesting possibilities. And then the yellow keys are all the patterns. And I think the higher up you go, the more complex the pattern gets. So that's pretty cool. So you get a bunch of those to work with. So the Celtic harp. Just gorgeous. And I love having the info here. Let's just do it without reverb. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Darcy. We've got some, we've got some coming here. <clears throat> that's absolutely right, Chris. That's uh, that's what I guess he captures something. He captures something that goes beyond just the instrument itself. There, that he captures the heart, I guess, of the instrument. That the the heart and the emotion is is just encapsulated in all of these sounds which is so beautiful. And that's what inspires you to play these. Uh, it just pulls different things out of you. So uh, we've got two Celtic harps. This one sounds a little darker. darker sounding and then um, we've got a zither a zither this is big let's look and see yeah this is a big zither like a sultry and
So music by Candlelight, this is like 26 gigabytes uh, worth of sounds. Uh, so the download size is going to be like around around that. You download these in multiple multiple uh, archives. Very deeply sampled, very deeply sampled for sure. So we've got uh, actually got two zithers. Such a nice sound to that. Then we've got the um, the fiddle. <laughs> and that's the finger legato. And then we've got bow legato. And then you've got the long rolls. Just different articulations here. Yeah, you've got short rows, long rows, and uh, triplets. You've got all of these different articulations that when you're putting a part together, you can just string them together to create a very... And we've got fiddle rhythms. You got three banks of rhythms here. Yeah. So these are great to have those authentic. Um, Very cool. And you've got three banks of those. So you've got these drone notes as well. So you've got D, the D drone, and then the A drone. So that's kind of cool. That adds a nice, um, a little bit of character extra. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's go to uh the the um bazooki, the the bazooki, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and then you look at it and this is like a really cool big Okay, yeah. My pedal's creeping away. Thank you. 
this reminds me of almost like a dobro. I don't know why. I don't know why. It And then you've got the same. Legato and the slides. Harmonics. Yeah, it's that uh, resonant, it's that resonance that, uh, that just takes me into that uh, space. It's that the big body, uh, but like what you said, not a whole lot of sustain going on. So these key switches are set up just like the, um, just like the ones uh, for the guitars. And the strum, the same thing applies here. Oh man, this is definitely worth the upgrade if you've got this because it, they, they add the ancient uh, horns and then just uh, some of these other ones, it's just really cool. So the eighth, these patterns here. And here it kind of sounds like, almost like a, a ukulele or a, a mandolin even, if, because it's a, a real chunky. It's just real chunky and uh, and big, big sounding. Okay, okay. Let's just move on. Uh, we've got a banjo here. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. And you, without the reverb, it's just. And it's so, it's just so cool here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is one of the things that I think, it, you know, because um, the Ambergies, the Ambergies were, uh, they came uh, into the eastern part of Kentucky. I think there's, there, there's like some um, little Irish and little things, you know, you know how the 23andMe does, it mixes all this together. But I'm just feeling a lot of familiarity with a lot of the bluegrass in the mountains of uh, Kentucky, where where they had these the same types of sounds and harmonics and tonalities and things. It just sounds feels familiar. Uh, it feels familiar. That's why you get into all of these different spaces with these instruments, and it's 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 marvelous. Um, yeah, the tenor banjo. 
and we've got all the different uh, articulations. Again, it pulls you in and encourages you to play it. And you've got controls for all the different noises and things. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. And we're almost uh, to the end of the Celtic era here. Yeah, it's just incredible. You know, that's it. That's it. It's it's like it, it's just like the the generations uh, of musicians that have uh, that brought their music over when they came to uh, to the to America. They they brought their traditions, their their culture, their music, the instruments, and it just uh, it's just a beautiful it's a beautiful thing, um, beautiful thing. So here we go. This is the um, like an ocarina. He's got this thing with legato that that really feels so natural. And we've got all of these different key switches. Tin whistles. And this is like a little uh, lower whistle. And you've got all these, <laughs> all the articulations here for the bends and that kind of thing. Uh, we've got the folk whistle here. This is fabulous. Little folk whistles here. So we've got like uh, the Irish flute. So you got bounce, rolls. So you just get all of those little nuances that you need to string together to, um, to just put these performances together. Okay, you've, you've got all of these different, um, all these different whistles here. Let's go to the low whistle. So they're just beautiful. <laughs> so this is the uh, the bombard. And you have control over the vibrato speed. Just very interesting instruments here. The pipes go from that real sharp the gay that. Okay, let's see, where is the drone key? Okay, there we go, yeah. So you have the drone keys here at the bottom. And then you can just 
You hit the key again and it turns off the, dr the drone note. You've got uh, Gaelic pipes, Highland pipes, Scottish. They cover all of the basses here. That's wild. And then um, the drone notes again. Yeah, yeah, it, and, and because the pipes, it sounds like kind of like an organ in a way, which is really interesting. Let's go to the, the Scottish, well, the Highland. Let's just do the Highland pipes first, and then got the drone keys. And then you have adjustment to turn those down if you want. Very cool. Okay, so we've got Highland pipes and then the Yulian pipes. Well, with Scottish, let's just go ahead and just, I'm just gonna go down the line. Because each one, each one has their own personality. Very cool. It's got different tonalities and they cover them. They cover them. Okay, so here is the Yulian pipes. Let's just see. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, the, okay, so these are just the drones. Uh, so you get, get the drones by themselves. Let's see. So you get the drones by themselves. Let me pull up the full, um, yeah, here we go. Let me back this down. And you've got all these different articulations that you can go through. So you've got the, these different ones, cran on and cran off. Okay, popping. And let's see what we've got here. We've got slides. It's uh, very cool, beautiful instrument here. I'm gonna go back to um, one of the soundscapes. Okay. This is the, this is really a beautifully put together package. <laughs> 